crazy family. Today we want to talk a little bit about negative self-talk. Sorry, there was a pause there. I had to think about I had it all in my mind this morning and then I'm like... She was negative yeah. self-talk. <laughs> I needed a minute. Just kidding. Hey, did you know I heard a statistic that someone says in their head at least 30 times before they say it out loud. And so like when you hear someone be like, oh, it's so stupid. That means they've said that to themselves 30 times in their head. That makes me so sad. That's really sad. I know, isn't sad? That's so sad. So we've really been talking about it. It was really sweet. This was a few weeks ago. Aaron sat all the kids down and talked about affirmations and positive thinking. That was, and all of that. That was the best. The best lesson that I've ever given. And the kids just. The they, kids struggled. They, they did not I think like a lot it. of us struggled. They liked it. It's just a lot of us struggle to say positive things to ourselves. I get it. It's much easier to I say something with. negative than it is to say something positive. But we did have all the kids stand in the mirror and say affirmations, and it was it was really interesting there was some to see where to all of them were. But... No, they all did it in the end. Some of them just didn't want to do it in front of some of the other kids. They just wanted to do it. But remember, they all did it. They did do it. My whole thought was it like, hey, you got your family. Your family can be there to support you, you know? If you do your affirmations in front of your family, then they can support you in that. I don't know. Yeah, they're teenagers, so it's not always going to work out that way. So one of the things I do, though, because I do struggle with negative self-talk a lot, but every morning, when I am, before I'm getting in the shower, I stand in front of the mirror and I give myself a high five. So I've read a book called A High Five Habit. And high fives are associated with positive thinking because usually it was like a coach, a friend. Brody's given a high five in the background. Are you giving a high five? Do you remember your affirmations? Uh, I think it was, I have good style. I'm great at Lego and I'm the best for I'm the best at flipping. You can see little handprints on my mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Those, are Those are from high fives. Look, high five. I need to clean the mirror. But give yourself a high five. Try it for just one week. Every morning, give yourself a high five in the mirror before you start your day and it'll help. Also go read that book. I really highly recommend it. One of the things I wanted to do today, so today is actually President's Day, and so all of the kids are off of school, so I wanted to go take them to do something fun, but really create that positive self-talk. And we will go more into the video on how we create that positive mental health and that kind of thing. Um, obviously there's so many other factors, so much other things go into this uh, kind of stuff, but I just want to show you some of the things that we do in our house. So. Let's go. Okay, before we go and do something fun um, together, well, I don't know, whoever wants to go. I was gonna say it's a family. Um, Bella has a scrimmage today, so she doesn't have her first like official softball game until next week, but today is a scrimmage, which is basically when, like a practice game yeah, before going, the games begin. So she's on JV, and so the JV team's going against Varsity. Ooh, uh, so we get to watch her play softball. I'm she excited. Was, and she's she, a starter this year, so I'm yeah. really excited about that I feel that like too. she's going to be starting every game, if she even plays in the game. Yeah. But. Okay, let's go. We are back from the scrimmage. It went really good. I can't wait to watch her actual game. So it was kind of just like practicing and she practiced at third base and in the outfield, uh, but it was really fun. So I am back home and we, there's this new place that opened up called the Drift House where it's go-karts so you basically can drift and it's six and above. So Aurora can actually drive her own go-kart thing. Oh, oh good luck. We're a little nervous. Hopefully everything no. turns out well. Uh, but what let's go have some fun. Some what is the height limit? There's no height limit. It's just age. It's just age. If you're like this tall, what's the age? Like, yeah, what if you were like six and above? You were six. See, I think we should have just gone and drift the Escalade. Uh, no, no. It's two wheel or the truck. The truck works too. <laughs> but they have the electronic brakes. It doesn't work as well. No, we're not doing that. We're not drifting our stuff. We're drifting cars. I mean, not cars. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're drifting go-kart things. Are you gonna do it? You gonna do it? Yeah, heck yeah. I, think I'm ready. I don't know, I kinda have a headache, so I don't know. You gotta drift. I gotta drift. No excuses. Oh, oh, extra battery. Yeah, we might get trolled. Logan. 
She got a necklace stuck in her hair tie and she's gonna mess up her hair. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> Help her! Just you take the bow out! Lean, no, you can't take the bow out! Oh! Okay. It's still stuck. Oh, I got it. I swear we do her hair, everyone. No, it's still stuck. Look, it's she stuck. can't get the ponytail out. Oh, she got it. Yay! anyone who does want to come here so they do have smaller go-karts for like ages three to five and then six and above can ride the bigger ones. Dad, I don't think you're gonna be able to fit in the go-kart. <laughs> it's so small. What is that? There's churros right there! So after we're done racing we're gonna get some churros. Hopefully they're good. I'm like obsessed with churros. There you go. How are you? you see how mine is? <laughs> show, show me your hands. Oh no. Oh no, we're just gonna struggle. This, this is gonna suck you. Go. Yes, all right, perfect. Got it? Good job, Aurora. I'm really nervous for Aurora to drive these because she, she's not sure she even knows where the gas is. We're a little nervous. Oh, no, she has her foot on the gas. Push it, Aurora. Push the gas. Push it. Push your foot. No, your foot. Your foot. Your foot, yeah. Yeah. John, are you switched on? I don't think she is. Oh. Okay. Uh, I want you to have two hands. <laughs> Let go of this. Let go of this. Let go. Let go. And right now. Okay. We Very might good. have to do a kid's one. Okay, push the gas. Take your foot off. Now push. Push it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron's trying to drop it. <laughs> she might need to do the kid's one. <laughs> <laughs> Liam's already back. <laughs> Go, Aurora! You got him! Yeah, you no, you're to supposed to stay in! You're supposed to, you're supposed to stay in! Yeah, keep going! <laughs> oh, oh! Turn! Okay, push the gas. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> She's not getting One it. One wall to another. We might need to put her on the kid's side, what do we think? Yeah, I think so. I might need to go over there too, it's okay. Oh, you're right. Yeah, we can pull her. Totally. created a little oh. traffic jam. That's okay. Okay, he's off. He's off. We're good. Wow! That was, was cool! That was... 
controlling your speed. That was <laughs> What the heck? Liam just did the best drift I've seen out of any of them. Are you ready to drift? Yes. So Aurora is so cute. Like in this little or course, she's just running into little tires and trees, but she's having so much fun. I can't oh, tell she's smiling. She's smiling. She's smiling. Liam is in control, man. Little speed racer. Dad on the other. Oh. Oh, oh, he did it. And he said he did Oh, dang. It's those big old feet. They catch the wind. You good, Logan? Aaron, we don't need any other broken legs. Dude, he's got it. He's doing like 360 drifts. Yeah. Zooming. Yeah, they're getting the hint of it now. I feel like you can kind of see their personalities come out on it though. Like, Rylan is like in control, doesn't want to get hurt. Like, yeah, look at Rylan compared to freaking Liam. Yeah, Liam's like doing circles. No, Logan. Logan's zooming. Yeah. You'll see him go past There's Liam. There's Liam. Here comes Logan. Just watch. He's zooming. He just, he just zooms around all the corners. And then Lucas is our biggest risk taker in the house and he is just pushing it to the max. He is, really. Quite literally. That's, that's how you can tell because he can dad's come off twice. Dad's having fun. Dad's struggling. Look, here comes the conclusion. Right? Go Brody! Brody's very controlled. I think it's our turn now, Mom. I'm a little scared. I'm scared too. I don't want to do it. Are you shaking? <laughs> no, what? <laughs> No? It doesn't look too hard. Are you excited? I am. It looks fun. That was so good. What did you think? That was so fun. I, I, I thought it was going to I thought I was going to like it. I almost died. I thought I wasn't going to like it, but it was so fun. <laughs> They're all wanting to go again. Yeah, I want to go again. No. Logan. Everybody in the you, you went full, so fast. Yeah. Oh my, here's just, oh here's my good gosh. So fast. Oh yeah. My God. That was amazing. I know. It's I know. Look at the back of his shirt. What did he do? He fell off. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. I'm going to jump around you, Joe. I was like, I was like, okay, it's our turn. Yeah, I wish I could go. No, 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 I okay. got this. First one up. That way. Go. That was not a drift, that was a spin out. You gotta use your drift bar, Samantha. <laughs> Is that cool? Yeah, that was sick. Now, oh imagine drifting a two hundred thousand dollars sports yeah. car. <laughs> that was so fun. It was really fun. Oh my gosh! I actually really enjoyed that more than go karts, like way more. Really? Hundred percent. Like I will be back. Yeah. yeah. If you guys are in Tempe, 
My yeah. arms are actually really tired. Oh, I thought you were gonna say because I crashed into it really quick. Oh yeah, no, there was that too. I, I may or may not have fallen off at one point. I actually and it may or may not have been directly in front of the camera. <laughs> I did not fall off once. Um, I did get stuck and just caused a traffic jam. You know that's okay. And I barely even hit the wall. So you know you never really used your drift bar. I didn't. I got scared. I was not scared. scared. And then I was like, eh, out of control. I was trying. I was trying. I did it once actually in the all the way up back there. And um, it didn't end well. I rated a 10 out of 10. Highly recommend if you're in Tempe, Arizona. 10 out, out of 10. To drift 10, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Rylan wants his next birthday party here, right? What? Lots of friends. I do too. You do too? Actually, should I invite all my friends? That would be crazy. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, I think. Okay, who wants to run through the fountain? I will. You're gonna run through it? I will. Okay. Liam almost just got it. I got it. Okay, so guys, I am six foot one. <laughs> it's tough. It, like it hurts after a while, but it was a blast. Yeah, I think it's. So I'll give it a nine out of ten. Si just because size-wise, I have a little extra. It's winter time, and I've got myself a little bit of insulation. Oh. Did make it a little hard to crunch down in there. Same thing as the tall, but honestly, it was super fun. I'd love to do it again. Okay, so when we were in, um, when we were filming Survivalist, we were in Baja, Mexico. And they had this little stand outside of our hotel that sold churros. Best churros I've ever had in my life. And ever since then, I cannot find churros that like live up to that. Let's see if this that. one's better. Churros. So we are going to, there's a whole churro shop right here, and we're going to try it. Churro see if it Ness. compares to Baja Mexico. Churro Ness. It's called Churro Ness. It looks nice in here. It does look nice. You, they can see your identity. You're not a ninja. So I got a churro dog. We're gonna see if this beats Baja Mexico's churros. But I don't know what the hot dog in the middle is. It's falling apart. I'm scared. I don't know why he's here. Baja Mexico's still better. Okay, so we're gonna Smells. Apparently, they do like snails, so that's gross. Please don't eat that. Though. Ew, that's the shell. Ew. Bro, do you want to try some? Mm -hmm. What's it taste like? He's thinking about it. He didn't say no. Would you try some? He's looking at me. Is it's it different. good? It's different. Would you consider it meat? Oh. oh. Okay, so I had to keep the snails, but that's it. <laughs> oh, he broke it. I mean, is a slime really? Yeah, is it meat? Really? It's, it's, meat. It's, 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 it's a slime, that's all it is. That's all it counts, right? <laughs> Are you tired? It's been a long day. Oh my God. Let's go to sleep. <sighs> Aww. Okay, real quick, I wanted to say one more thing. Really, We didn't really go into detail today about, about mental health. What were we saying at the beginning of this vlog? I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. We were talking about, oh, a positive mindset. That's what we were talking about. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> we didn't really go into, like, depth about it, but... Jill, I wanted to, you to know that I hear you. Jill had wrote in, she had asked questions for the q and A. I I had taken one of her comments wrong and I'm sorry for getting offended. Like I really am. I think so hard it's when you read through text or, you're, or not text, when you read their comments and all of that kind of thing, you can't really tell the undertone of them sometimes. And I know sometimes like, and even the other people will like attack some people and then they're like, that's not even how they meant it. And it's just this whole thing. But I hear you, Jill. She's talking about um, that she wants us to go more into depth about like um, how to grow a child's mental health and emotional health. Um, what disciplines have worked in your house? Do you take things away? What helps? What are triggers? Like all of those, we will answer all of those. We're either going to do it in a video on here or we might do it on an upcoming podcast. I do hear them. I just need to really think about how to word and phrase those because um, when we explain more stuff like more in depth, 
Um, obviously, we don't like to give specifics on which children and that kind of thing unless they decide to share it on their own. Uh, but I do think that we can do that. And I do think we can go more into detail and more into depth on a lot of things. A lot of times you're just seeing like the highlights of our day and kind of just a brief little, you know, 20 minutes of our day. And there's so much more to that. And there is a lot with um, trauma and all the different, you know, stuff going on. There's so much on the back end. But I would like to go to more in depth on what has worked in our house and not. And there's certain kids that things work better for and not for others and all of that. Uh, one really quick thing that I will share uh, before we end this video is piggy banks. And I know that makes no sense for a second. I just saw your nerd nodding his head. And he's like, but he probably knows what I'm talking about. Okay, so in my mind, like when a, f a child first comes into care or first comes into our home, uh, one of the things I like to think of it is like a piggy bank. And their piggy bank <laughs> is empty at that point. And so the biggest thing for me and for us to do as a family is to fill their piggy bank. How do you do that? You do that by compliments, asking a lot of questions, having them feel in control of their life because they've lost so much control. So I even ask questions like, which shoes are you gonna wear? Hey, your school bill rings at 7.30. Do you wanna go at 7.10 when the gates open? Do you wanna go at 7.20 and not have much time and just kind of line up? Like it's all those little questions of things that really aren't huge decisions, but they're big decisions in a, in a child's life of everyday stuff. And then as you build that relationship, oh, I also like to laugh with them. I know they say laughter is the best medicine. That's so true. I feel like when you laughed with, when you laugh with somebody, it's like in that moment you feel connected and you feel like someone understands your sense of humor and who you are and I don't know I just think that that's the best thing so usually we like to go go out have fun laugh together all of that we do go over ground rules and those kind of things too which I will go into in a video but anyways the more you fill that that piggy bank as you will um, on when it is time to correct and it is time for a consequence if they make a bad choice it's okay because imagine you had you know, a hundred pennies in there and you took one penny out with the discipline, they are able to handle that emotionally. But if they're empty, if their piggy bank is empty and they're feeling depleted and they're feeling empty inside, and then you do a consequence on top of that, that's just going to be complete meltdown, complete, it's, it's not going to be very healthy for either side and then the parent ends up feeling frustrated because they're like they're not listening or it's not working and the discipline's not there if you feel like you're in that cycle try feeling the piggy bank and so and I think that with any relationship I feel like when Aaron and I aren't vibing I feel like one of us are feeling depleted and feeling depleted the right word it's late I'm trying to word this the best I can but they're How, feeling how's our relationship are we depleted right now? Are we good? I feel like we're really good right I now. Like good. I feel like we're really good. I feel like going on a date the other day filled our piggy banks, and I feel like we've I gave communicated her a full professional so massage well. last night. Yeah. Yes. So he was a massage therapist um, years and years and years ago. <laughs> we have a massage table, and but we don't use it very often. But it was so nice. But I feel like our communication's been on point lately. We're doing pretty good. We're doing good. We're doing good. So we're filled right now, which is good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's kind of a little bit in depth. We will go more into depth. Yeah. But thank you, Jill, for all of your questions. Hallie is actually showing up. Dad, Aaron is going to go on a little daddy-daughter date with Hallie and just spend some time with her tonight. So thank you guys for hanging out with us. The Drift House is amazing. I may be a little bruised tomorrow. <laughs> I think I hit my leg so bad. It was a I lot of fun. Know. Got a little wild on it. But all right. We will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Guys.